Bloomberg Philanthropies recently announced funding for an exciting new partnership between Duke Health, Durham Technical Community College, and Durham Public Schools. Deborah Clark Jones, who is Duke Health's Associate Vice President for Community Health, worked to secure the gift. So I decided to meet with her at the Durham Tech campus and ask her about the program and some of our other community partnerships. That was such an exciting announcement about the Bloomberg Philanthropies mm -hmm. supporting the Bloomberg Project. Can you tell us a bit about, about it? Absolutely. We are so incredibly excited, and I know that you are too, and really appreciate you being a champion of this project. But we are partnered with Durham Technical Community College and Durham Public Schools to establish a brand new health sciences early college. Yeah. Bloomberg Philanthropies is investing $29.5 million, and we could not be more delighted. Uh, we are going to focus on four primary pathways, nursing, surge tech, allied health, and one that's near and dear to your heart is clinical research. And that's based on the in-demand roles within the health system that have minimum qualifications of a high quality credential or an associate degree. With clinical research, we're particularly excited because we have an opportunity to establish a brand new apprenticeship It'll be the first in North Carolina and probably the third in the entire U.S. So very, very excited. Well, as you know, I am particularly excited about it. But let's yes. step back a little bit and talk about your role as Vice President for Community Health. What does that role entail? Duke Health for many years has been committed to holistic health and health equity. But research tells us that only 20% of the factors that contribute to good health fall into the clinical care space. 80% fall into socioeconomic factors like where we live, economic stability, uh, food security, education. And so we have to take a look at what our role is as an anchor institution in our community and how we can better strengthen our partnerships in order to address barriers that fall into these socioeconomic spaces that keep us from advancing health equity. So community health, by definition, is a multi-sector, multidisciplinary public health framework mm -hmm. that allows us to work very closely with partners to address those barriers, um, those unmet social needs um, in our community. The Office of Community Health, I consider us to be a nexus to mm -hmm. bringing uh, clinical health resources and social health resources together to advance health equity. So you talked about partnerships. Mm -hmm. How do you evaluate what's going to be an effective partnership? When we think about partnership, we really have to think about trust, mm -hmm. reciprocity, parity. Sometimes Duke can be that 800-pound gorilla in the room. And um, we have that with those partners. But I also often like to highlight um, another example, and that's uh, the HEAL partnership mm -hmm. that's under CTSI, working with AME Zion uh, pastors. It's really important as you think about that particular example to think about not only what we are sharing with them and educating them on uh, around clinical research, the methodologies, the tools like informed consent, uh, but also what they are educating us on. Uh, they're educating us on the community. Mm -hmm. They are serving as trusted ambassadors around clinical research. And that is equally important. And sometimes we lose sight of that. And I think it's really important. Well, you show examples of the win-win, the win for Duke Health and the mm -hmm. win for the community. Absolutely. And is that what you really look for? Absolutely. Uh, that's really what partnership is all about. And I think oftentimes we know, and the community knows how preeminent we are, mm -hmm. but we also have to recognize the critical assets in our community as we go about our work. Well, Deborah, thank you. Congratulations on the Bloomberg Initiative, and thank you for all that you do. Oh.